Hello there guys, Frank Firth here, and welcome to the Dead Linger. Oh yeah, Dead Linger is a zombie survival hover. It is in very, very early stages of Alpha, as you can see at the top left. It's in uh, 007C, and no, there is no James Bond pun in this, so don't expect one. Okay, so this game really intrigued me in more than one way so it, it well firstly this is going to be compared to Daisy and Warzy it's going to be anyway most people are going to compare it to them because they are going to be very similar games however this game is kind of what I'm actually looking for so a few reasons why you know this actually did catch my eye so firstly I prefer to play as a solo player I prefer to play alone you know I want to be the sole survivor you know I want the weight of the world on my shoulders and the problem with games such as Daisy and Warzy is that you don't actually really get that you always feel like there's people around you you always get that that constant burden you know that constant annoyance that people could be around any corner and while some people do like that, a lot of people, a lot of others don't. And this game's kind of perfect for that because you can actually play solo as well as multiplayer. There's actually a choice. You're not forced to play multiplayer, which is really cool. And that ties in with another reason why I quite like this game. So this is going to be a this is going to be DRM three. That is quite a big deal these days because there's not many games that are being released like this that are actually DRM free. Now, of course, if you want to play multiplayer, you are going to have to have an internet connection. However, this game also supports LAN. Wow! Not many games these days actually support LAN, which is, you know, pretty cool in itself. And also you can play it offline, there is actually an offline mode if you want to play it on your own. Some features um, don't carry on, of course, some, some features you do need to be online for, but that's not the point, the fact is you've got the choice, and, you know, that's already, you know, that in my books. Now, probably the major, major thing that really got me into this, so, the Dead Linger has got a periodic uh, randomly generate, generate system. Which is pretty cool because it's it's very similar to that of Minecraft in that um, you'll have chunks generate near uh, where a player is, and then obviously as you go on and so forth, it all it'll keep generating and blah blah blah. But the great thing about this is that it's random. This is something that I've been craving for for ages. This is something that Cataclysm gave to me. Cataclysm is a great example of this because pretty much everything is randomly generated. Obviously, you're going to get stuff like towns that are going to be here, there, and everywhere. Uh, the Deadly kind of does the same as that. Uh, there's going to be towns where that where you would expect towns. You know, it, it, nothing seems out of place. Obviously, it might do at the moment because it's an alpha, but obviously they intend to plan that for the future. Um. You're gonna, you're gonna not believe this. This map, the Deadlinger the Deadlinger map, is a whopping sixty-four thousand kilometers squared. What? Think about it, though. Chernow map, Daisy. That's only two hundred sixty-five square kilometers. So, if you work out the map for that, one Daisy Chernow map is basically um, 242 times that that's how big this game is wow <laughs> that's absolutely massive god absolutely massive indeed and probably probably you know just to top it all off you're gonna be able to mod the game come on this is great most of these things you cannot do on War Z or Day Z, you know, especially with the random generating issue. You, you never get a random map on those two games. You only get static maps. And while it's obviously it's enjoyable for some to know where everything is, I prefer to have it as a surprise, as a, as randomness. And the fact there's mods going to be available, so if there's some aspects of the game I don't like, I can change them myself. That's a win-win. That's a win-win for anyone who like this genre so I've been babbling on for a bit longer than expected 
Um, shall we actually get onto the game? Would be a good idea. So, as I've mentioned already 20 million times, it is in alpha. There are lots of bugs. Animations aren't perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just crack on with it then, shall we? So, uh, I'm just going to very quickly do a multiplayer. Now, I'm actually, I'm actually going to host a game. But I'm going to have it as my own game for the time being. So as you can see, I'm just going to go... There we go, that'll do. That will randomly generate a map. And I'll see you shortly. And we are in. Yay. Oh, shit. What can I have a zombie already? What? Okay, dokie okay, then. So we have spawned in a house. And I need to find stuff. Now, as you would do in any survival horror, we need to find a weapon. And we need to find food. And we need to find just general shit. So. it's re I'm really surprised it's spawned this in a house like this. That's pretty cool. And there appears to be something there. That I can't get to. So, the mechanics in this game is pretty cool. So, to open doors, you actually have to physically push them which is really cool or pull them depending which way the door actually closed so obviously the door can be pushed from this side but not pulled as you can see we can't actually pull it open from this side that's pretty cool I like that um, there's no items around anywhere which is meh that's unfortunate now obviously it's not like the best graphics ever it's not really meant to it's alpha <laughs> Hey, the plunger there. There we go. Let's let's pick up the plunger. We can use it as a weapon, funnily enough. Uh, let's get it. Let's get here. Come on, move. Okay. So, uh, I believe this is the toilet. It's a funny toilet because there's a toilet there and a sink, and there's also a sink there. Cool. I'm up for randomness. Oh, and there's the outside. Brilliant. There's a zombie right there. Well, I'm not going there then. Just just for the time being. Um, was there anyone else I didn't check? Uh, that's another outside. That's another outside. Okay, dog, then. Let's go through the front door, then. Right, so, as you can see, it looks like we have actually spawned in a town. Which is kind of cool. Now, all zombies look the same, as you can probably tell. They all look the same. Um, oh. And I just heard something go... There we go. Let's show some milli animation. Wah, come here, bastard. Come here. <laughs> Kiting like a pro. So as you can as you can clearly tell, the plunger doesn't really do that much damage. Um were you really surprised by that? Oh I actually got hit there. Oh come on! Nah, fuck this. <laughs> I'm just gonna leg it. Okay, so we're gonna run to uh, we're gonna run to another house. Hopefully, there's stuff in the house and not a plunger. There's actually lead pipe there, but, look at it. but I'm being chased, so let's just get in here and shut the door on them. Boop. There we go. Okay, okay. So I'm hoping to actually find another item here. Oh, there we go. So we've actually found. Um, that was a 4 4 Magnum rounds, and you know how much I love my Magnum. I love my Magnums. But unfortunately, no gun to go with it. So that was a bit a bit silly in that respect. Is there anything here? Oh, another plunger. Excellent. Okay, so what's this? That is a. Oh, picked it up. So that was our jean. Well, trousers, firefighter pants. So let's show the invention system while we're here. So, this is actually really kind of cool. It's very similar to that of Diablo 2. Um, as you can see, you can actually move items around. Now, I believe this is supposed to resemble your pockets. So, that's how much you can carry in your pockets. So, as you can see, the 4-4 uh, ammo takes up two blocks. And you can move them wherever you want. That's kind of cool. Unfortunately, you can't rotate them. So, some items that maybe would fit if you actually tilted them won't fit unfortunately they might implement something like that in the future but for now that's the case 
Uh, as you can see, you've got slots here, so there's backpack slots. Uh, there's something you can go on your head. Um, I think that's a mass slot. Uh, armor, um, clothes, weapon, blah, 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 blah. These grey bits uh, for other things that aren't released yet. I think that looks like a map. Probably is. Uh, as you can see, there's actually a couple of bars here. So that's your hunger bar. Uh, that's how hungry you are. You can actually die of hunger. So you need to keep eating. That is your stamina bar. Uh, this stamina bar actually confuses me to some extent. Because you only really use stamina when you run. When you sprint. And unfortunately, it doesn't show you while you're sprinting. So this is kind of a... Kind of a bummer to have it there and not on the main screen, which is really odd. Maybe they'll, as I said, they maybe they'll implement something a bit later on down the line. And I have no idea what this battery is, so fuck it. <laughs> no idea what it is, and I don't care. Right. Uh, another cool feature of the game is that it has uh, physics. Physics in that you can actually uh, move stuff around. So as you can see, there is a uh, city here. Uh, while I can sit on it. It can actually be moved around as well, so as you can see, I'm pushing it around here like that. And you can actually grab it and pull it towards you. Now, obviously, couches are heavy to move, and it is taking me an awfully long time to actually move this settee. Which is kind of good. Come on, get the fuck here. So, I could actually move this towards the door, and what that would do is it would block zombies getting in, which is really cool. I think you can. Yeah, I'll just put the glass. Lol. So let's get through there. There we go. I didn't really find anything that else, which was unfortunate. Uh, uh. Right. So we need to look for something. And as you can see, this is definitely a town. I think there's only houses that spawn in the town at the moment. I don't think there's anything else that does spawn. Uh, it would be nice to see something like a supermarket or just normal... Um, no buildings you would find in a town, you know. Look, like town hall, church, um, little news agents, whatnot. But I think that was a plan for the future anyway. So you know, it's nothing to worry about. Let's just close that. Okay, okay. So there's an item here. We can interact with the item. Uh, we can even move it, toggle it, move it around as well. So as you can see, I'm actually moving it around like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, food. Yes, please. What the fuck are those? Are those... That's canned chilli. Well, I don't like chilli. That's a shame. Uh, oh, there's a... Well, that looks wrong. Um, we've got a cushion spasming spasm out there. Uh, can I... Come on, pick it up. There we go. So I'll put you back there. Now get back on there. Get back up. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Um, we've got a telly that we can probably chuck through the window. Or oh, I can try and chuck through the window. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, it's night time. Shit. I had no idea there was nighttime mechanics in the game. That is actually pretty fucking cool. So this is going to be an interesting, uh, interesting few more few minutes. Wow. Okay, so we still need to look for stuff. Uh, oh, there's something there that. Uh, is that better than it might be better than a plunger? I can pick it up. Wow. Yeah, let's. It's a large two-handed sphinx. So let's get that and drop that. There we go. Oh, brilliant. That looks a bit more, uh, a bit more intimidating than a plunger. Wow, this is actually really cool. The lighting effect is really nice, considering this is alpha. I am a huge fan of that. That's the outside, that's the garage. Right, let's go up the stairs. So, from what I've seen, there's only two types of areas at the moment. There are the one-story areas and two-story areas. We've roughly this similar sort of layout. Now, that in itself, I'm not really that bothered about, because obviously everything inside it is going to be randomised. Apart from, obviously, locations. So I'm not really too fussed about that. At the end of the day, it is very hard to randomise a shitload of different... What was that? Why won't it let me open? Is there a zombie there? No. That was weird. 
And that, that shadow doesn't fucking help either. Oh, there's a, there's a fucking mask there. Yay. And more stuff. God, this is really cool. I, 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 I like this nighttime bit. It's kind of cool. It really is. Okay, so that zombie is still there. You can actually crouch. I don't know if there's any stealth system in the game. That's something I'm not too sure of. Uh, and there's a woody hook there. Uh, where's this spot? Oh shit. Yeah, I need to run from these. It's going to be a bit hard to quiet them. Um, we could check in that. What the hell? There's a few zombies in there already. I've already been in there. That's kind of cool that there's actually zombies in the houses as well. That's really cool. Although I don't want to search in there now. <laughs> let's try a different one. Here we go, let's try this one. Let's see if there's anything in here. And no zombies, hopefully. There we go. Right. Food. Yay, brilliant. Oh, hello. 12 gauge. Oh, shit. Yeah, attack him, attack him. Give him a good whack, give him a good whack to the head. Go on. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, I can probably creep and try and get this shotgun. Have I picked it up? Oh, I might not have enough space for it. Right, can I drop this and pick that up? Can I drop that and pick that up? Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm holding it pretty weird here. Is that because I'm crouching? Yeah. So obviously, there's not the animations aren't brilliant, as you can see. I'm crouching there, and I've got the gun through my um, through my index finger, which is kind of cool <laughs> in a weird way. But yeah, we need to reload this. There we go. And pop! Ha ha! You dead? Okay, brilliant. So. That these turrets, so no. So I've actually found found a gun. Yay! As you can see, the sound effects aren't brilliant and whatnot. But hey, it's it's alpha. I keep saying it's it, it's it's. I've got to keep stressing this out because obviously when people watch these, they take it as the proper products, and you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that at all. Right, hang on. What did I just pick up then? I picked up some shoes. Increase his jump height. Oh my shit. What did that say? With these white men can also jump. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of that film. That was pretty cool pretty cool film. Right. So what's up here? Fuck all by the look of it. Should we pick that up? What's that? A shirt? Yeah, it's a jacket. It's in good condition. Brilliant. I don't know if these items are randomised in that they've got random stats on them or whatnot. It looks like they do though, which is really neat. I kind of like that. Oh shit, where was that? I don't know, but nah, there's nothing here. That's a bugger. Oh, oh that's what their batteries for. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I can't see nothing. I'll turn the flashlight back on there, please. Oh, I suppose I've got to wait for it to actually uh, build up. But while I'm doing that, I'll have a, I'll have a munchies. Well, I'm here drinking real life as well. Oh. Ah. F1 to hide and show this control list. Oh, I wish I knew that beforehand. But I'm not going to do that just in case it interferes with the uh, recording. Uh, is it back yet? Can I switch my flashlight on? Yeah, I can. Yay, brilliant. So yeah, that's what that battery's for. I wonder if you can get. I wonder if you can get battery packs and whatnot. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Now, I know with the this uh, new version, there, there's been a prison added, and that has really some spooky shit in it. I think it's also got some decent loot in it as well. But, uh, that looks like it's light in there. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit! 
Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I wasn't looking what I was doing! <laughs> oh dear. So, uh, just a few more points before I, um, well, was it? I don't know. But for some reason it's giving my my stuff back, which I'm not pleased with. But yeah, um, a, few, a, new few, a couple of other features that's going to be added is, um, what I was really interested in is the permadeath. There's going to be a hardcore permadeath, which is something that I am definitely going to be playing. At the moment there's only one. And you basically respawn with all your stuff. There's no actual penalty really for dying, apart from well moving back a little bit, which is unfortunate. But you know that'll come with that'll come as it goes on. What the fuck is that? What is that? Warning voltage. What is that? That's weird. So yeah, um, I think what I'll, uh oh, I've got no bullets left, got no shells, sorry not bullets, shells, it's a shotgun. So, I think I'm going to keep on top of the development of this, I mean it's got some really great features, I think um, if you want to check the website out, it's gonna, it'll list the, uh, the features that I plan to release in the future, and you know what, e even if some of them do get released, the fact that it's got modding capability yeah, is is brilliant because people can just mod it in. So that's great. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm not a bit... Come on. No. Need to find a gun. Alright, and guys, so while I'm running for my life, I'll, uh, I'll see you later.